Here we have a file with the translated text strings. Let's export it to CSV format. Then we will be able to import the strings back into Photoshop file to get it localized. To make our CSV file structure compatible with Adobe Photoshop, before exporting the table we need to have the variables place it in rows. Let's select our content, click Copy, go to the other sheet and press Space Special. Select Transpose option and press OK button. Now we can export our data into a format acceptable by Photoshop. Go to File and click Save As. Choose format of the file text CSV, type the name and press Save button. In the next dialog box, click Keep Current Format. It is important to select correct character set and a delimiter for each string. For the provided character set, Unicode will be the best option. For the field delimiter, we will choose comma, because Adobe Photoshop recognizes only commas as string separators. Check quote all text cells to separate strings by cells in CSV file, then click OK button. Now let's switch to Photoshop. Here is our PSD file with the text layers and assigned variables for each layer. Let's try to import our file with the translated text. To do this, go to the image, variables, datasets. In this dialog press import button. Choose encoding Unicode UTF-8 and press button select file to set the location of our CSV file. In the load file dialog box change file type to CSV. Browse to the file we just exported and press load. Then click OK button. Now in dataset drop down list you can see four datasets for each language. Let's rename them and click OK. After that we need to apply datasets and save the localized images. To do this, Turn off our background image, then go to File, Export, Datasets as File. Select the folder for our localized files. All the other options will be left by default. Then press OK. Adobe Photoshop has generated a PSD file for each language. Our last step is to convert the PSD file to a PNG format, the same as in the source image. To do this, I will use short action. Go to the file, automate, batch. Select action from drop down list. Choose folder with the generated PSD files and press OK. And as a result, we have four localized images to be used for the game engineering. Thank you for watching.